Good morning. A number of you have asked me to solve this question, question 12, um, from problem set number 6, which involves Tarzan swinging on a 30 meter long vine, um, depicted in this sketch that I prepared here, and I did this in advance to save a little bit on screencast memory here, where Tarzan's either starting from rest or pushing off at a, with a speed of 4 meters per second. We'll start, of course, with the first situation, where st Tarzan starting off with an initial velocity of 0, ending up here at point B with some other velocity, obviously greater than zero. Um, and we're going to do this with energy. The, uh, the lesson at this point has to do with potential and kinetic energy, so we're going to look at the energies at point A and equate them to the energies at point B. We can equate them because we know energy is conserved, and so all the energy at point A is going to equal the energy at point B, uh, assuming there are no losses. And we can assume, since nothing's been said about wind resistance or friction of the vine, that this is 100% efficient. So therefore, we have the energies at point A, some of the energies at point A, is going to equal the sum of the energies at point B. So um, what are the energies at point A relative to point B? Well, the first energy we're going to consider is the potential energy. And we need to know f uh, from point A, what's the elevation drop? And uh, looking at a little right triangle trigonometry here, we know that the the hypotenuse of this scenario here is 30 meters. That's the length of the, of the rope, the length of the vine. And uh, swinging down here to point B, we can determine this, this, di this dimension H, which is the, the, uh, the difference between 30 meters and this dimension Y, which is the opposite side of this right triangle. And I've calculated this to be 30 meters times the sine of 53 degrees, the opposite side, which is equal to about 23.96 meters yielding h equaling 30 meters minus this different, this dimension, uh, or 6 meters. So we can now start plugging into uh, this generic relationship of the sum of the energies at point A equaling the sum of the energies at point B. We have the only, ener the only energy at point A being its potential energy, the mass of Tarzan times the acceleration of gravity times the height difference between point A and point B is going to equal the kinetic energy at point B because all the potential energy, there's no more, has been used up. Um, well, we don't know Tarzan's mass, but luckily uh, the masses cancel out from both sides of the equation. It becomes um, irrelevant. Um, makes no difference what his mass is. And we can solve for the velocity at point B. And the velocity at point B is equal to 2gh, or that height difference, we take the root of that. And plugging in the numbers, we have the root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared times the height difference of approximately 6 meters. And just doing this solution, we come out that being 10.8 meters per second. So we solve the first part of this problem where Tarzan has started off from rest. Now, how about the second part, where Tarzan is uh, moving with some initial speed? Let me just change the color. Um, at point A, he's moving at initial velocity of 4 meters per second. And how does that is Im impact his velocity at uh, point B? Um, does it just simply add 4 meters per second to it? Well, let's take a look. Um, we'll do the sum of the energies at point A once again. It's going to equal the sum of the energies at point B. What energies do we have at point B? Well, of course, we still have the potential energy component. That's the H. But now we have an initial energy of 1 half mVA squared is going to equal 1 half mVB squared. Again, there's no potential energy at point B, so this MGH term for point B goes away. The, the height difference, we could have called the height at point A6 and the height at point B0, but basically we're, we're using H as the height difference between the two. The solution comes out exactly the same. Uh, once again, the, the masses go, go away. So we have the masses canceling out. And we can solve for the velocity at B. Velocity at B is equal to the square root of 2 times G times H plus 
one half VA squared. And I have to be careful of my parentheses here because there's a parenthesis that's really around this term completely here, okay? Um, and we can now plug in the numbers. We have the root of 2 times 9.8. times 6.0 plus 1 half velocity of at point A, which is 4, and that's a squared term, and there's a closing parentheses inside there, all under the square root sign. And solving the, for this square root term, it comes out to be 11.5 meters per second. Um, note that it does you don't simply add the velocity to that uh, to that term, um, and you might find that rather interesting. If you have any questions, certainly please ask me via a private thread or in the general question area, such that your your uh, classmates can share in in the solution.